All right, well, I've neglected a lot of video on uh, this chainsaw and everything, the Super Pro 125 with the 101B. And I guess I'll do a quick rundown on it. I mean, I've gotten a little lazy, but I've had lots, I've not had much time to really make a video on it, just little bits and stuff here. So I'm not sure where we left off on the last one, but we're getting there. Just an Ace Hardware bag covering that. Painted tank, assembled, a chrome starter, flywheel cover, a rear bottom brace. I have the parts on the way to, to hold the handle here, the full wrap. We'll be getting the tank in. Just today I painted the starter and this little piece right here that goes on the lower part. Gotta get this side painted on it still. I was running out of time for work. What's underneath all this is the tuned pipe. It's 22 gauge steel we're sitting on here. After about an hour, I made all these templates and everything. So I know I've neglected a lot of video making here, but I hope to make it up by doing the pipe with you guys. I have a header being made for me. For that and everything so I apologize any questions feel free to ask and I will answer them the best I can for you on what I've done but um, I like I said I don't know if I included them in the video but this is a VHT wrinkle black paint for valve covers regal red on with the clear coat on all that Lower shroud was held together originally by wires, and where the original wire holes were, I took a piece of flat stock aluminum, bolted it to it, and it's holding really great. So, other than that, I mean, I guess I should have had you guys along with that, and I feel kind of bad. Just let you know on that. So, hopefully, like I say, we'll be putting this pipe together and everything, but I got to get the header first. After we do that, we should be on the roll. Dirty 44 still down there. We'll get to that one here shortly because parts for that, for the full wrap handle, the clamps are coming from Canada and it could be anywhere for another two days to two weeks after that before they arrive. So we're going to, we're a little bit behind on that and I don't want to start it without it or of course the pipe here. So we might hit up on Dirty 44 there real soon on ideas and everything. I guess I'll show you the idea I've got going for that. That front hole right there, we'll be cutting this out. But that front hole right there, and cutting all that out, matches up with that top hole up there. So we can try to drill through that all the way and maybe even enlarge that hole there to be able to take a bigger bolt. I'm gonna to try to bolt this flat down and cut out anything on our way so that we can mount our uh, carburetor to it and everything so that's dirty 44 it's kind of one thing there the tank has kind of slowed me down a little bit but other than that uh it's pretty much an update on the racing saws here and like i say sorry again for a little neglect there but we're going to get right back onto these here very shortly and get you guys more involved it's just been a hectic few weeks of family stuff and everything going on so any of my friends know I've told some of them and everything and they understand so but throttles all hooked up on this and everything oiler it's all there so all right Nat like I say don't lose faith in me guys I'm still here, still going. You could, like say, I update more on this racing saw. If you're on Facebook in a group called Modified Chainsaws, you'll see me a lot in there. I update weekly with this, also in uh, McCullough Chainsaws North America. That's weekly, and any little stuff I do is in Modified for that one. So that's where you will find me and everything and most updates. But hopefully we get a video going here for everybody to watch when we get to this pipe cutting it out and everything and whatnot so i gotta make a little revision up here and make one of those longer this is a bottom part to the header this one needs to go from four to eight inches 
from what I'm told, or that everything there is an old McCullough style one. So, all right. Well, it's late at night. It's almost uh, three in the morning. Just got off work, so get to bed here. So, thanks for watching. Keep you updated.